shall receive this power. Praise the Lord. So, you know, this afternoon, it takes only a look at Jesus. Praise the Lord. It takes only a look to regain our joy, to regain our praise. Praise the Lord. You know, so when we shall leave this place, we will be able to say it was good for us to be here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord to make a proper start. Let us start to sing Him 36 from our redemption. We praise you, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now born of God. Let us all stand.
South Africa is a virtual community that we are able to live. I have seen the Shabbat which God has been able to assume that we exercise.
Holy Spirit, Bishop, Pastor, Father, and the evangelists of the church. I am glad to know that I have been privileged to express myself in a way, although I am feeling I told you about the last of my sister, but I'm asking the Lord for continued strength. Just as well, I pray for the shop that the Lord can give him the strength to continue to hear the loss of his mother, who's here the tomorrow. And I would like to go to the rest God. I am giving God thanks because I am not a workplace cutlass. And what happened to me, I am feeling very glad to know that God has kept me so much that I, I, I reject any form of retaliatory tactics to satisfy myself. So I have to give Him thanks for everything. You know, sometimes, you know, it may come like so you keep yourself too secret in expressing certain things. But sometimes people at church, you know, when they hear certain things, they say, well, oh, I must go try that too. <laughs> I must go try that too. Seriously, you know, it may sound like a joke, but not a joke. I understand. But I'm glad to know how God has been. Um, I want to say this. Uh, Birds in the treetop singing their songs, flowers in the garden. Falling from the heavens, angels singing praises unto the Lord. Why should I, why should I not pray? Thank 
and for us to plead the blood of Jesus to clear the way. So we can tell anyone say, living the world, living for God is not easy. You understand? It's not easy. Because sometimes when sometimes we feel like we give up. When I tell that I'm serious, we feel like we give up. But when we really look up and say, what God has done for me. I remember Pastor Rose. He said, no. I can't let down Pastor Rose. God, he's so trust me over all the pressure of this church. Pastor Rose, trust me. The ratings from Africa. Trust me mentally. You don't like him. But we just have key person. My dad just explained this morning. I was a child. I can't believe from yesterday. They got to press the youth farm because the youth farm was at her house. I never get to pick her up yesterday evening. So this man woke up early, put on clothes, and went to talk to her. While, while I'm going to talk, her mother gets upset and I said, if she's in her church, I said, listen, at church, I'm going to come to this time. Anyway, she called. When he got up, she put on the uniform, the uniform and dress. And so, he said, we get so upset. Right? One little girl put a piece of iron board, and he said, yo, we want to live. And this is the way we want to live. We want to have a good iron board, and then get upset, and we just left the house. Why did he come in here now? He said, I see him where she go with the uniform. I got my name in the devil. Who I told you to do. You understand? I'm a star, I'm a neighbor also, I hate my life. And he said, Where am I going? What are you doing, Jacob? He said, 9 o'clock. And he said, Well, 2 o'clock now. Anyway, my third person said, I'm going to go back to my church. And he said, I could have a uniform already. Go on a chair. And he makes you put on a uniform. Great chair. He said, I should have a man, a pattern, a papa. And a piece of care and tire may have to come. That's why I put a loose up the road. You know what I mean? But the shoe button, Papa, I'm going to decide, he said, I'm going to have to buy new shoes. I'm going to make shoes there, I'm going to drink. I'm going to tell myself, I'm going to reach a church. I'm going to put a care and tire. I'm going to put a hand on it. Just when I walk and feel like I'm going to go upstairs, you don't feel like, because through the care and tire, but God is so good and he has kept me and I can give him the man and glory and know that he is, he is ahead of my life and he is protecting me from all the arms and danger that the devil has set in upon me. So let us see this one. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And now I'm a long Hello. Something happened. And now I am home. Jesus touched me.
praise the Lord in the midst of life during the death. Death is, death is inevitable. And the scripture declares that it is appointed unto man who wants to die. But after death comes the judgment. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that is why we are all here today knowing that better days are coming. And that after this life, there is a better life, eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we want to ensure that the life we live speaks for us.